Welcome to Wrestle Strong Dojo's episode 56. My name is Ash Hunter, and you're watching the first match here. James Long versus Omen in a singles match. Should be very, very interesting indeed. Omen is as mad as a cut snake, and James Long is quick as lightning. Has moves to burn. And you know this is going to be a hot one. It's James Long now. Omen, oh, kick to the back of the leg. A couple of shots here from Long. He can't even talk properly. Hang on, what, what do you say? Referee's going to have real problems here controlling this match, I can guarantee you. There's going to be language barriers, there's going to be omen barriers, there's going to be James Long barriers, there's going to be everything in this one. This is going to be an absolute ripper. A couple of shots. Oh, look at that out of the corner. James Long. He's got power in those legs. For a little man, he definitely could fight. You wouldn't want to take him on. Look at that speed from James Long. Now I'm in. The crowd love Omen more or less because he's got the funny noises and he's mad as. He's definitely someone that you can't take lightly. James Long finding out now the hard way. Oh, look at that. Here goes James Long now on the go behind. Referee's moving a lot in this one. Look at these moves, my goodness, it's so quick, it's so tough to call the action. James Long now switches, kick to the midsection, here's another one. Tries to go to the front now for the front face lock. Rolls around to the side, look at the wrestling skills of James Long. Rolls him, that was magnificent. Wow, that was super quick. Blink and you miss it. Really enjoyed calling James Long, especially that last match. Where he narrowly missed out against DB Robertson. That was a thrilling match on episode 55. James Long now. Went for the pleasantries. I don't think Omen understands pleasantries. Omen understands one thing and it's viciousness and violence. Well, that's actually two things. There's a couple of shoulder block opportunities now. Omen stands up to them. Omen goes to pick up the speed. He just couldn't hold him. James Long ducks underneath. James Long spin the Rooney. Look at that around the rope. Into the turnbuckle. What a start to episode 56. James Long. Here goes James Long now, tries to get up the top. Oh, he's right on top here. Oh, is this a, uh, a little guillotine, is it? I think he might have him here in a guillotine. Omen screaming and squealing. Shoulders off the mat. What is it? Listen to this referee. You don't, you don't, don't, have, a get, don't have to guess what the referee's thinking. Oh, that's a beauty. Look at the lock cinched in. It looks like a guillotine there. By Long, but then Omen uses the strength and rams him, rams James Long into the turnbuckle. Omen gets out, I don't know how, because that was cinched in. You can hear the count now. Hope you're enjoying all the action. Wrestle Strong Dojo at, on Facebook at Wrestle Strong Dojo, Instagram at Wrestle Strong Dojo, and on YouTube. You've got us here. Over 500 subscribers and counting, and thank you. As the referee gets shoved out of the way by Omen now. Leaps back in. Oh, that was a clothesline from a long way away. And Omen, could this be a victory for the weird one? 
Goes down to Kavar. James Long. Omen. This has been a beauty. Listen to the uppercut. Oh, there's another shot from Omen. Oh. Can tell Omen's here to do some damage. James Long. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble now, Long. That shot was brutal. Omen could not care less. Couldn't care less if he took your head off, sent you to hospital. Oh, wowee. That's magnificent. The leg drop. Perfectly placed on the throat. Here's the count. Karasu. It's a two count by the referee. There's Omen. Dominating Long at this point. Long struggling, but he's trying to fight back now. Couple of shots. Up against the ropes. Ducks underneath. Long now has got to use some agility. But he can't. Omen twists him into another. Wonderful backbreaker on the knee. Here's the cover. Two. Two. Only a two count. You can hear Omen saying, Two. Omen can't believe it. I don't even know if he knows what two means. Omen, I just think he knows destruction. Just how to hurt people. Oh, that was pretty clear by the ref. Don't use the ropes or I'll disqualify you. That was easy. I don't even know if Omen understands the English. As I said, there'll be language barriers in this one. I don't think Omen understands a great deal at all. He just understands viciousness and violence. He's got James Long up in the air now. Long precarious. Oh, drops him onto his back, onto the knee again, on the back. Here's the cover. One, two. Not quite. Omen, completely dominant in this one. James Long hasn't had a lot of offense for about two or three minutes here. He's just little fleeting ones, just like this, where you can see him try to fight back. He's got so much fight in him, James Long, but Omen. Oh, have a look at that. That was a kick from nowhere from James Long. That stunned Omen. Omen trying to get back into the ring. Here goes Long. Thrown away by Omen. Long tries to go again. Oh, he's tilting, rolling. Oh, my gosh, he gets him in the DDT. Here's a real chance for, for James Long. Has he got him? He's two. Oh, I thought he had him. I really thought he had him then. Long's frustrated. Thought he had the chance there to take out the upset win. Omen still. Oh. There's a big shot from James Long. He's only, as I said, he's very light, lightly built, James, but G's got some power behind those shots and he knows how to use them. The, the accuracy, the skill, and the torque. The speed at which he does it. Have a look at this. And then these moves are beautiful to watch. They are so pleasant and so aesthetically pleasing on the eye. Tap or snap now. James Long's got the arm. How's Omen going to go? Is he going to snap or tap? No, look at that. He's going to use the strength. He's still got the arm bar. The referee's saying, what do you say? Oh, look at that beautiful roll through. From James Long, he's got control of the arm. He's going to try and snap him now. It's snap or tap. Can he break the hole? Oh, foot on the rope, Omen. He had enough presence of mind to do it. James Long has to relinquish again. You just think if he had a few more kilos on him, maybe be able to control him long enough, but I don't think he needs it really when you get that armbar. That's so dangerous. So much damage in one shot. So Omen goes for the big chop. Oh, there's a slap to the face long. Couple of shots now, one to the midsection. Omen tries to retaliate. This has turned into an absolute Donnybrook fight. Choke slam from Omen. That was out, out of the textbook. One, two. Oh, he's got him. James Long defeated him match number one. Omen gets the win. What a great match.
Welcome back to Wrestle Strong Dojo. Last man standing match between Joey Fox and Aragon. This one has a really special stipulation in it, which we'll get to very shortly as we await for the ring announcer, my broadcast partner, Jack Hellery. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, here is the challenger, the self breakfast ladies man, and his opponent, he is the reigning, defending, and undisputed Russell Strong Dojo heavyweight champion, the one, the only, Joe one starts in a hurry. Big stipulation in this one. If Aragon loses this match, he cannot fight for the Wrestle Strong Dojo heavyweight title whilst ever Joey Fox holds it. This is a massive stipulation. Aragon must win. It's an absolute must. He cannot lose. Losing is not an option. Definitely not an option in this one. Aragon's going to come out with everything he's got in his arsenal. It's a last man standing match now. He's got a chair. Aragon. How's this going to go down? Chair shots. Oh my God. That is right to the centre of the back. Aragon loved that. And another one. Oh my goodness. You can tell this has got so much more riding on for Aragon. He's coming straight away with the heavy artillery. That's four chair shots. You can see the last man standing. Got us get up before the 10 count. If you've never watched a last man standing match before, you've got to beat the 10 count. You have to beat your opponent into that much submission that they cannot get up. They have to basically make sure they don't beat the 10 count. So you are not going to see anything pretty in this one, ladies and gentlemen. You are going to see violence at its most extreme. And these two men can deliver it. Joey Fox will defend the title with everything he's got. He's got the heart of a soldier. Just like his entrance music. He keeps on moving forward. He's got that will to win. Just like an absolute soldier, Joey Fox. He's held the title for a, for a good while now. Positions the chair. What's he scheming this time, Joey? No way. I cannot believe it. Surely this isn't going to be a coast to coast. No way. Surely he can't make it all the way. Joey Fox, coast to coast. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Aragon could be out already. Six is on the ref's count. There's no pins here. Oh, Kendo stick straight to the back for more damage. Stay down, Aragon. Listen to the ref counting. Still writhing in pain, Aragon. He can't get to his feet. Don't know why she reset the count there. He didn't quite get to his feet, but that's okay. She's counting good though. I love the count. There's no mucking around with it. Onto the knees now, Aragon. He's got the kendo stick. Oh, that could have got him in the eye. No, it got him in the throat. 
That is dangerous stuff here by the ladies' man. The human tank, Aragon. Here the crowd wanting some table. Oh, there's a chain. Oh, there's a bit of bling from Aragon here. It's the way he likes to take his ladies out. He loves to wine and dine them, give them a bit of bling. It's not the bling that the ladies like, but it's the one Aragon likes. Gee, have a look at that. The shot across the temple. Joey Fox cops a bit of chain to the face. Still down. And some more bling bling. Oh, to the face again. Straight to the temple. Aragon. Oh, choking him now with the chain. That's not what we want to see. Aragon loves to dish out the pain, especially to Joey Fox. He wants that title. He wants it bad. He doesn't want to lose this match. Last man standing. He loses this one, Aragon. He does not get to fight for the Wrestle Strong Dojo title until Joey Fox loses it. This could be devastating to his title hopes. This is a massive stipulation here that Wrestle Strong Dojo have provided. Oh, here we go. Kendo stick like a baseball bat. Oh, home run. To the back. Oh, there's another one. Welts, you're going to see pain. You're going to see bruising. You're going to see a lot of damage in this one. We're proud and privileged to bring it all to you here on Wrestle Strong Dojo. It's only where the strong survive. They do say that. Only the strong survive in Wrestle Strong Dojo. And tell you what. One of these men will not get up for the 10 count. And the Wrestle Strong Dojo heavyweight title may change hands just because of it. Called for the tables and we've got them. Crowd loves it. Aragon's brought it out. Now it's in the ring. Here goes Aragon in the ring now. Just needs to set the table up. Just got to do some more damage on Joey Fox Fox first. Beautiful suplex. Aragon absolutely loves it. Look at him. He's even got tie, time to tie the shoelaces up. He's got him in a good position here, Aragon. He's in a great spot. Joey trying to get up. Been a lot of damage in this one already. So much damage. Aragon works the midsection. Another one. That's two shots. And a back elbow. Tries to go into the turnbuckle. Gets reversed and runs straight into it. Face first. Aragon. My goodness gracious. That was desperation from the champion. Both men down. Both men are counted out. I guess it's a draw, and then Aragon, because he didn't win, won't be able to go for the title again, possibly. Ooh, shot from Joey. We'll let the Wrestle Strong Dojo personnel sort that one out. I'm just here to call the action. Hope you're enjoying it all. Ash Hunter's my name, episode 56. Oh, standing drop kick from Aragon. That was wonderful. What agility from the big man. That's why the ladies love him. So I said he takes him out. He's a very classy man, Aragon. Provides the jewellery. Provides the dinner. Provides a great time. He's just as good in the wrestling. Provides great action, Aragon. Here goes Joey. Oh, that was beautiful. Another version of the suplex there. That table still precariously placed in the corner. Who's going to be the first to use it? Who's going to be the first to inflict a table damage on their opponent? It could be all over. 
Aragon, that's not the spot to be in, mate. Right up against the table. Oh! Listen to that chop, my goodness gracious. Could have broken his hand on it. Oh, there's a second one. Wow, the hatred between these two men, if you know your history. They were once together. They were once the tag team champions. They were once the Fox unit. That unit has been absolutely well and truly broken up over many, many, many months. Aragon started it. Joey wants to finish it. Joey's gone on to win a heavyweight title since then, and Aragon's just tried so hard to get it back or to win it and to try and upset Joey Fox, but Fox has kept on going. Aragon keeps on failing at the last hurdle. Oh, shot with the chair and then a DD chair on the chair. That could be it. That could be it. This is as brutal a match as you will see, ladies and gentlemen. Aragon says count. We're up to eight. Joey could be done. Not sure what the referee's doing there. Joey's still down. Oh, super kick from Joey. Aragon precariously placed on that table. Fireman's carry. Oh, no, we're not going to see Death Valley Driver, are we? Oh. Error time, baby! That could be it. That's a wonderful move from Aragon. Oh, both these men have been in a war. This has been brutal. All I can say is I hope you enjoyed it. He's picked him up again. Oh, no. Oh, Death Valley Driver, I believe, straight through the table. My goodness. Aragon's done. Aragon's finished. Surely it's over. Straight through the table. All right, we're up to nine, and it's done. Joey Fox wins. Aragon can no longer fight for the WrestleStrong Dojo heavyweight title, whilst Joey Fox is the champion. Devastating blow for Aragon. Joey does it again. What a win. Back into Wrestle Strong Dojo, episode 56. This is a special attraction.
Number one contender match for the Wrestle Strong Dojo heavyweight title, Skull Reaper Argy. You can see in the far corner there in the left, the headgear, the mask. Shep Alexander, our visitor from Queensland. Can he get himself into the number one contendership? And then you've got Aragon, who I believe, if he wins this match, would have to wait until Joey Fox loses the title before he can claim number one contendership. So this one's a really interesting one because Joey Fox, I don't think he's losing this title for a while. He's in great form. The Skull Reaper RG. You can hear the crowd loving RG. So Skull Reaper RG. Shep Alexander. Squaring off Aragon just taking his sweet time on the outside. He's enjoying life out there. He doesn't need to engage himself. These three-way three-way dancers. We've seen them here on Wrestle Strong Dojo. It's very important that you conserve your energy, that you don't go too hard too early, and that you get into the match at the right time. We saw that a long time ago. I remember one match where Chuck Chaos was involved in a three-way dance. He didn't see him for pretty much the entire match, and then he popped up at the last minute and took out two opponents at the same time and won it. So you just have to be smart about it. You've just got to be very, very measured. Use your dial, use your brain. Look at Aragon there. You can see him in the top and the bottom. I'm going to suggest probably the bottom right hand side of the screen is just walking across the end of the center of the screen and over to the top left hand turnbuckle. He doesn't want any part of it early. If he gets involved early, it means he extracts some energy. Shep Alexander, Skull Reaper RG, two visitors. Getting a very unique opportunity here to become the number one contender for the heavyweight title. Oh, Shep just goes straight through. Here goes Aragon. Here you go. Look what I just said before. Aragon tried to get in there and make a difference, but gets caught by Shep. Now, Shep. Alexander non-compromising. Just could not care less if he hurts you or if he sees you in hospital bed. He is very, very tough. RG now, now we're getting some three-way dance. Now the three of them are in the ring together, we're gonna to see some action. Double team on Shep, Shep against the ropes. Shep double close line. RG and Aragon doing the business. Shep in the turnbuckle, Aragon, gee that was quick. He used his full speed and ran flat out into him. RG came in afterward and Shep's down. Aragon and RG. Arji, the Skull Reaper, Arji, having his skull straight into the turnbuckle from Aragon, Aragon now a couple of shots, oh look at the choke, Aragon doesn't care, he's just gone straight up to the ref and said I don't care what you tell me mate I'm just going to do what I like, here goes Aragon, beautiful, the ladies man has a point to prove. Double. He wanted that. He wanted that number one contendership. He may not be able to use it for a while. You did see the last match. Joey Fox defeated him. And because Joey Fox defeated him in the last man standing match, he cannot wrestle for the Wrestle Strong Dojo heavyweight title. Whilst ever Joey Fox is the champion. Big stipulation, he lost it. Aragon now, three kicks and he's down. Here goes Shep now, he's back. Nice shot. Shep Alexander picks up Skull Reaper Argy and slams him into the canvas. He's a pin. Not quite. Let's get him. Let's get him. 
Shep trying to dictate terms. He's trying to make a deal here with the Aragon. Trying to make a deal with the ladies' man now. RG in the corner. Down on the mat. The masked man. Nowhere to go. Shep and Aragon making the difference. Dictating the terms. Listen to Aragon, the sexiest wrestler of all, he says. Aragon, Shep now, they're going to have an argument at some point. Here we go. This isn't going to be pretty. Oh, there's another shot. Beautiful. Great shots here from the two men in centre ring. They're here to fight. They're not here to ride on the carnival rides and get the fairy floss, that's for sure. Pit Town, they're here to duke it out. Both men going berserk. Shep getting the upper hand. Ducks underneath. Aragon kicked to the midsection. Here's Aragon. Aratime, baby. No, blocked it. Oh, what a flow. That was a beautiful suplex by Shep. Aragon down and hurt. Back in comes Arji. And there's your DDT. Poet, I didn't know it. The DDT by Arji. Face full of turnbuckle now, Aragon. So Shep's down. Aragon stunned. Skull Reaper RG now looking to take the number one contendership here in Wrestle Strong Dojo. Can he do it? This would be huge. Aragon perched up on that top rope now. Oh, superplex from the top. Here's an opportunity. One, two. Oh. Is that three or did Shep come in? Not sure. Didn't get to see the ref then. The ref says play it. Oh, kick to the back there by Skull Reaper RG and this match continues. What a match we've had for you here on WrestleStrong Dojo. Oh, beautiful roundhouse kick by RG. Cover opportunity now on Aragon. He pins and he holds him down. And it's three. Skull Reaper RG is the number one contender here on WrestleStrong Dojo. What a win by Skull Reaper RG. Back here to Wrestle Strong Dojo, and you can see the Pit Town Magpie coming into the ring with DB Robertson for the Wrestle Strong Dojo Fighters Championship. And he's squaring off here against Dean Draven, the champ. And have a look at Dean Draven. He said, You don't get into my face. DB says, I'm going to get in your face and give you some more. And here we go, the Donny Brook. It's on. On for young and old here at Pit Town. We're off to a brilliant start. Bet you all love that. Dean Draven now went for the hip toss, couldn't get there. DB went for the counter reversal, couldn't get there. Step over. Beautiful stuff there by DB. Draven tries to keep up. Oh, wonderful work. Dean Draven just going to go to the outside, take his time, and they're on the outside. <laughs> Look at the pit tower magpie. He wants to get in on the action too, does he? He goes driving now up against the ropes. Beautiful clothesline, DB. DB now with a hip toss. Draven is stunned. What a great start from both men. DB starting to get the ascendancy. Here's the cover. Dean Draven kicks out. 
Oh, he's, looks like he's got a sore shoulder there, Dean uh, Draven. Eddie, 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 can see the crowd. Oh, what a chop. Great chop. Oh, the man with the best chops in the business, though, Dean Draven. Oh, he cops one back. Listen to this one. Oh, Dean Draven. You don't cop a chop from Dean Draven and survive if you're not a mere, if you're just a mere mortal. And look at DB Robertson fighting for all his might. Reversal. DB goes over the top. That was nice stuff. Looking at this German suplex. No. DB Robertson now. Back elbows on Dean Draven. Draven cops another back elbow. DB rolls him through, went for the kick and just got it. I'd say just on the shoulder. Here's a chance. Might have got him more than we thought. Ooh. Just a two count. This action's been red hot from the start. Hope you're enjoying it. Ash Hunter's my name. Episode 56. Oh, nice clothesline ran straight through Dean Draven. Here's a cover. Here's Freya down for the count. Instagram at Wrestle Strong Dojo, Facebook at Wrestle Strong Dojo, and YouTube 500 subscribers and more. Get us to 600, get us to 700, get us, oh goodness, get us to 1,000. And from there, you just never know. Oh, DB Robertson goes through him again. Snap now out of the corner. I don't know how much more Dean Draver can take of this. He's been absolutely smashed in his first few minutes by DB Robertson with such a quick start. He's another chance. No. Draven trying to fight back here. You know he's got the qualities. You know. The Australian legend of professional wrestling. He won't give up without a fight, that's for sure. Oh. He'll try to get him in the cross face, but... DB Robertson too quick, too slick, and too good on that occasion to get out. Draven not happy. Crowd wants DB to win. You can see who the crowd's going for, DB Robertson. Oh, massive chop. That'll shut the crowd up. DB, massive reversal and chop himself. Oh, Dean Draven. Poke to the eyes, Dean Draven, beautiful. That's how you do it. The champion takes over with the simplest of moves. Into the turnbuckle now, DB. Went to follow up, but DB's too quick. It's a bit of a speed issue here at the moment. Oh. Caught him in midair and suplexed him halfway across the ring, and Dean Draven back in the ascendancy. DB Robertson may be hurt. I think he may have landed on the neck. Listen to this crowd getting into Dean Draven. Draven doesn't want any bar of them. Hates every one of them. Equal opportunity provider. He hates them all equally. My goodness gracious me. DB Robertson could be seriously injured in the middle of this ring. And Dean Draven just does not care. What a move. Picked him up from the middle turnbuckle. And as he was about to leap on him, he picked him up and suplexed him. Now he's following this up with some pure violence. Here's a cover. Wow. Never cease to amaze me, Dean Draven. He's just such a quality wrestler. He's such a thinker in that ring. Years of experience. He's got a move for everything. He's got... He's, he's like the ultimate grandmaster at chess. But wrestling, he's got you two moves. He's two moves ahead of you all the time. Oh. Oh, double chop. DB in the corner. The crowd says stop smacking him. I don't think Dean's going to listen to that, champion. He gets hauled onto the top rope here by DB. Shot to the face. Dean Draven. Oh, what a suplex again. DB Robertson's got to be in a world of hurt. If he wasn't already in a world of pain, he's in a world of pain now. That was extreme. 
Unbelievable stuff. Oh, thanks. You can see the Pitt Town Magpie try to get DB back in this one, but uh, just had a short break there, and DB were back at the action now, and DB Robertson is suddenly back in the ascendancy here. We didn't quite see what happened on Wrestle Strong Dojo. Unfortunately, we cut to a break or a short break. And DB's back in the ascendancy here. Oh, lovely. That is quality wrestling. Quality move by DB. On the rope now. He's looking for the finisher. The Rue leg drop. This could be over here. The fighter's title could be changing hands. Did it. Freya said that was two. My goodness gracious. I thought that was three. I seriously thought that was three. Wowee, that was close. Pit Town Magpie still not agreeing either. Something's going on in the back corner. Deeper Robertson. Dean Draven chops him. Goes for the crossface. Crossface being applied. DB Robertson's in huge trouble. Fighters Championship going to be retained possibly here. DB Robertson in a huge world of hurt. They don't usually break out of this. Oh, look at the neck snap back. Goodness gracious me. Dean Draven's got it cinched in. It's really locked in. Can DB get to the ropes? My goodness, how did he do that? That is extremely tough by DB. And the Blue Roo gets up again. Listen to this crowd there, 100% invested in this match. I hope you are too. Hope you're enjoying all the action. Instagram at WrestleStrong Dojo, Facebook at WrestleStrong Dojo, www.wrestlestrongdojo.com.au. Dean Draven imploring the crowd to just shut up. Crowd won't do it there in the corner of DB. Oh, clothesline. This will shut him up. Oh, look at that. Explosion from Dean Draven. Clothesline down in the middle of the ring. This could be over. One and two. DB kicks out. Wow. We. How good has this match been? Hope you've enjoyed all of the matches. We got the news in this episode earlier on that Joey Fox is still the champion and Aragon can no longer fight for the Wrestle Strong Dojo heavyweight title was Joey's the champ. He had a second bite of the chariot being the number one contender and Skull Reaper RG defeated him and Shep Alexander to win the title. Oh, Pit Town Magpie getting involved here with, D uh, with Dean Draven. Oh, the Pit Town Magpie with a super kick. What on earth is that? DB Robertson off the middle rope. This is chaos. That's pandemonium. My goodness gracious me. The Pit Town Magpie with a super kick. <laughs> I thought I'd called everything in this sport. Oh, wow. Pit Town Magpie. That was a wonderful super kick. Here goes the Blue Roo now. Dean Draven, I can't contain myself. Oh! DB Robertson, this could be it. It's one, it's two, it's three. Got a new fighters champion. We've got a new fighters champion. Congratulations, DB Robertson, the new Fighters champion here on Wrestle Strong Dojo. What a match! I'm Ash Hunter. Hope you enjoyed all the action. Wrestle Strong Dojo, where only the strong survive. See you next time. Congratulations, DB. You deserve it.